I have a feeling we are going to have some new players once the Sims 4 base game is free for download. So I want to provide a quick and easy guide to installing mods safely and easily to your game. So what is a mod? A game mod adds features or changes the functionalities of the game. Features can range from a new trait, objects with a new functionality, and new UI functionality. The word mod can also be used as a term that simply means player made content for the game. This includes both custom content and game mods. So how do you add mods to your Sims 4 game? It's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you how to add mods on a Mac because that's what I play on. If you play on Windows PC, you can also follow this step-by-step -step guide as well. As of now, mods are not available for console players. Where to find mods? There are plenty of places you can find modders. There are so many popular modders out there, so simply searching modders and what type of mods they have is easy to find. There are a lot of sim creators that love mods and usually provide you a list of amazing mod content. My top three mods I always have in my game are MC Command Center, UI Cheats Extension Mod, and Andrew Pose Player. I'm a content creator, so these are the three mods that suit my needs. Step one is to find the mod you wish to add to your game. When you do this, make sure you read the description and make sure the mod has been currently updated. Some mods will need to be updated every time there's a game update, however, some mods will not need any updates, so be aware of that. Step two is to download the mod. For most game mods, they will come in a form of a zip file or a .rare file, which means you would need something to extract the files. I personally would not trust any game mods that are not packaged into a zip file. If you're downloading custom content like hair, clothes, and maybe a few build and buy items, those may not come as a zip file. So I would download those with caution. Now step three is to extract the file and add it to your mods folder. Most Mac computers and laptops will already have software that will allow you to extract the zip files, but you may need to download additional software for .rare files. Your mod folder is within your Sims 4 folder. The path to my mod folder is Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Mods. I think the best way and perhaps the only way to install mods to your Sims 4 folder is to make sure your game is closed. I don't know what the protocols are, but I'm more comfortable installing mods and CC when my game is closed. Once you locate the folder, Folder, copy and paste the download content to this folder. If possible, try not to have too many subfolders with the mod folder because the mod may not work if it's too deep into the subfolders. I simply like to have one folder within my mod folder. Step four is to open the game and see if it works. If you haven't changed any of your mod settings, you should get a mods prompt at the main screen showing you all the mods and script files you have in your game. If you don't see this, you can go to the game options to see if certain settings are enabled. Head to the game options, click on other, make sure enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed are both checked. You can also click on view custom content if it didn't open up on the main menu if you want to take a look at all the mods and custom content you have. Keep in mind, your game may lag or some features may cause a tiny bit of problems at times because the mods adjust the actual gameplay. So the purpose of mods, again, is to modify the current status of the game. So the mods that you pick should work and they should be available for you if you installed it correctly. Just remember when there's a base game update or a mod update, be sure to remove the old mod from your mods folder before adding the new updated mod. I would also back up your mod folder from time to time just so you don't accidentally delete a mod that you wanted to keep in your folder. Now I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching. Keep that plum bob green. It ain't that hard. Till next time, I'll see you when I see you. Dag dag.